Hi friends, welcome back for part two mm -hmm. of our love story. In this video, we're going to talk about how we went from our very horrible first date experience in a previous video to how we got engaged a few months later at Disneyland. So after our horrible first date, uh, which you can watch in our previous video, yeah. um, you might be wondering, well, how did they turn around and get engaged? Well, we had a much better next day of our date because again, she came down to visit me. The next day was much better. Um, began to kind of vibe again, gel mm -hmm. again as a couple. And then after that, FaceTiming and all subsequent dates and visits and stuff went yeah. much, much better and very much continued the trajectory that we were on in terms of FaceTiming since we had met on Christian Mingle before and uh, just, yeah, began to get more and more serious. And I think we knew too, even after having that bad date that like we were still mm -hmm. pretty pretty into each other pretty all yeah. about each other that it was going to take more than one bad date to you know derail to ruin things yeah yeah after our first date that was up in mike's area in boston we then decided that it'd be a great idea for him to come to ottawa and just meet my entire family right away yeah that's generally the next best step is <laughs> after a terrible first date yeah. you meet the entire family and extended family so <laughs> this was not exactly on purpose but the next weekend that i had off work and that he was available was thanksgiving weekend so mike drove here and... canadian thanksgiving which i had yet to experience and it was also your nephew's first birthday and it had just been my birthday, like a day or two before. Yes. So lots of family events. Yes. All packed into one glorious weekend. Yeah, it was hectic. It was really hectic. But it was really cool to see Mike just kind of able to jump into it, meet my family, have them all getting along. And okay, this is a random side story, but I was just reminded of it. I think it was the first time I came up to Ottawa. Um, it must have been that first weekend because you made me a salad. <laughs> And this salad, <laughs> I think she was trying to impress me, you know, the whole like the way to a man's heart's through his stomach or whatever. And she made me a salad that was <laughs> that was primarily cheese and bacon. It was like three quarters cheese and bacon and then a bit of lettuce. And I just remember trying to like fork through it as though it were a salad. And it's just it's it's cheese and bacon. Like you don't just eat cheese and bacon with a fork. It's supposed to be a Caesar salad with bacon and cheese, but I, I do remember going, I was trying to impress you. It made an impression, that's for sure. <laughs> a big one. It made a big, a lasting impression, I'll say. Mm. Obviously with uh, long distance dating, you generally kind of talk about the plan and who's coming up and everything. And Mike did the majority of that uh, to come see me. But there was one time where I had no idea what was actually happening. He had arranged it with two of my friends and I thought I was going out to dinner with them, which I was honestly really excited about. And I show up to the restaurant and they're not there, but sitting at the table is Mike with chocolates and flowers and a card. And I was, I mean, I was completely shocked. Like I, I had no idea. I, if you know me, you know I am very rarely speechless and I was completely Completely speechless. Like the actual dinner was a bit awkward because she had trouble <laughs> talking. <laughs> yeah, like Again. I was like, I couldn't believe he was there, and I kept just like touching him and being like, I don't know, it was just so shocking. I was like, it freaked me out almost. Yeah. Like it was like a good surprise, but also like kind of like a, huh, oh, what are what are you doing here? <laughs> it was like freaky too. <laughs> so she was not prepared for that. So and then we went out to see Frozen, which was our first movie together, a Disney movie which would become a theme for a bit more of our relationship. I'm a huge Disney fan. I've been a huge Disney fan for a long time. And uh, I grew up in San Diego, which is not that far from Disneyland. I knew at whatever point that um, she was going to come and visit me in Southern California that I wanted to take her to Disneyland. I can't remember at which point I had decided that I wanted to propose. Later on, like kind of once it was getting closer to winter, um, we we had been talking more about future plans and we, we were very much serious by by then, by November, I guess, or... One month in. Yeah, closer <laughs> to December or whatever. And um, I, had, I had left some breadcrumbs, some clues um, that I 
was thinking about a ring and uh, that there was a ring option coming soon, perhaps. Um, so anyways, when it came time for, so again, I'm still in seminary. And so then when it came time for winter break, I went back home to San Diego, mm -hmm. a town called Carlsbad's where I grew up. So I was visiting my, my parents there and I'm um, staying at my dad's place. And uh, I, I remember I was, was really praying into at that point, um, just yeah, whether or not I was gonna propose and ask her to be my wife and get engaged. And obviously that's a big decision. And so I really wanted to hear from the Lord on it. And so before she came, uh, I fasted for a week. And I remember fasting and praying and just asking the Lord what his will was for our lives and uh, if this was what his will was for, for me. I remember it was the last like night of the fast and I'm praying in bed and the Lord kind of, it wasn't a vision, but it was like this conversation with God where he sort of just, it's like he turned over every stone at, in terms of this is what your life would look like single from this point on and this is what your life would look like moving forward with Anna and getting married. It wasn't a moment of revelation in terms of yes or no. It was a profound spiritual moment of clarity. Uh, the fog was lifted mm -hmm. off the future. Out of that, which I is so God, right, to, to do that, because I think he knew that I would doubt myself, you know, either way mm -hmm. if he said yes or no. But, you know, my heart was absolutely just for Anna and just Girl. so in love with her. And so <laughs> I think that I, you know, could see Clearly, now that I could see clearly, the choice was obvious. I just, I wanted to marry Anna. And um, yeah, with, with all that that came, came with. So All the complications. Yeah. <laughs> so then there was Christmas and she came to visit me in California and meet my parents for the first time. Well, you had met my after mom. After Christmas, yeah. Um, the day after Christmas. At the airport. So two of Mike's really good friends... Uh, they drove eight hours to come and meet me and they were there and they're amazing, amazing Shout couple. out to David and Anna. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> um, and that was really fun and cool to get to meet some important people. They made this sign um, yeah. that we, it was like, welcome to California. And um, yeah, we're just very excited to meet Anna. So yeah, so when I was in California, obviously getting to see his mom for the second time, getting to meet his dad, meet some of his friends, see, I mean, there's just so much beauty there. I had actually been there before, but obviously to see your hometown and mm -hmm. all that stuff, uh, it was amazing, gorgeous. So I had thrown her off the trail in telling her that the ring wasn't gonna be ready for a while. So she was not expecting a proposal no. at all. And uh, so we went to Disneyland so meanwhile, the night before, I had like cleaned up the ring and polished it up real nice, but I didn't have a box. I didn't have like a fancy little box to put it in. And, um, but I also didn't really want one because I was planning to propose at Disneyland and walking around yeah, all so day with obvious. like one of those ring boxes, like where's that gonna fit in my jeans or whatever, like that's not gonna work. <laughs> so I, we went to Disneyland and I had this ring, this very nice, very expensive ring tucked into like the little the smaller coin pocket of my jeans for the entire day walking around disneyland going on rides so like she didn't notice I'm but like so glad i didn't know every like minute i'm like feeling to make sure it is still in <laughs> floating around in that little pocket we're having a good time we're going on rides in the evening um i thought and we had talked about this earlier in the day because this was my plan was in the evening they have the professional photographers there um, at in front of the castle and at Christmas time or around New Year's whatever the castle is all lit up with the special Christmas lights So I thought that would make a really cool photo So we, we kind of got there a bit later and the lines got really long and so I'm like, okay We got to wait in line because this is my plan, right? So I'm like nervous in my mind all day long I had been rehearsing like what I was gonna say and how to do it and like okay do I put my right knee down or my left knee down? <laughs> I guess it depends on what side the camera's on. Like I was like thinking through all of these things because I wanted this to be perfect, right? So, so we get in line, we're like, we gotta get in line, we gotta get in line, gotta get in line. So we're in line, we're waiting, we're waiting, and she starts to get a little cranky. You were like not having it. <laughs> You're like I tired. Was so tired. <laughs> like, not first date tired, but 
we'd had this like awesome amazing day but it's like late at night and i was tired i was like you know i'd kind of be fine if we don't get our picture like i'm just so exhausted and you're like no no this will be nice well, how do i like, talk her into it as we're like a hundred people back in line like this is going to be really good you know trust me <laughs> like you really want to stay for this so I'm like, okay so but like i feel bad because her mood is starting to tank and, and i'm like i like want her happy for and... this yeah. yeah. Now, yeah, it started to cool off. So now she has her jacket on. He's like, "Oh, do you want to take your jacket off? I'm wearing like black pants and a black jacket, and he knows that I don't look cute, right?" And I'm like, "No, I'm fine. I'm just gonna leave it on. Let's just take the picture." And like, I normally I might have brought it up two or three times because like she had a nice <laughs> shirt on underneath that I knew that she later on would wish that she had not had and her I jacket do. on. So I just brought it up a couple more times. You sure, you want to leave your jacket on for the photo? She's <laughs> Drop it, you know? Like, what? <laughs> well, not that strong. So we get up to the front of the line. And so they kind of show us where to stand, you know? So we go and we take one photo, just kind of normal smiling. And then we come back to look at the photo. And then, you know, she kind of goes back out to where to stand. And I'm like, to the photographer, I didn't say anything to the photographer other than, can you just take a bunch more? I didn't tell her I was about to propose. I didn't tell her anything like that. And she's like, oh yeah, sure. So I'm like, okay. So then I go back out there and I grab the ring from my pocket and start to pull it out and I get down on one knee. And I think that he's bending down to tie his shoe. And, yeah. I'm, and, and I'm like, what are you doing? They're, they're taking our picture. Like I'm like, you were being very inconsiderate. <laughs> but I was like, what are you, what are you doing? Yeah. Like... I got down on one knee and I looked up at her and I think I took your hand mm -hmm. and I said something to the effect of Anna I love you and I believe God has brought us together mm -hmm. will you marry me I think yeah. that's what I said I think that is what you said yeah. something something to that effect I knew yeah. it was just like two or three simple lines yeah. that I had been like running through my head a thousand <laughs> times that day but I got it out I didn't stutter it or anything like that and uh he did rip his jeans i did on the we, way down we we discovered <laughs> later when the car ride home that my whatever knee was on the ground it was completely ripped through yeah. so like when i went down on one knee i went down hard on that he one knee meant it. <laughs> like murray mirror <Mira> else <laughs> rip my jeans for you <laughs> thanks baby yeah so yeah, I proposed and she was completely shocked. You will see the pictures. I, like he had thrown me off. He said the ring wasn't ready. And so I was just in complete shock. Like it didn't, it felt like an out of body experience. It actually didn't feel like it was happening. Um, I don't know if this is like a common thing when people are getting engaged, but like it seriously, I was like, is he really asking me? Like, is this really happening? Like it was... It was crazy. I was just in pure shock and excited, but shocked. <laughs> yeah. It took her a moment to like kind of gather herself. I mean, she said yes. Yay. Yeah. She said yes. <laughs> um, and then kind of <laughs> one thing that I remember is like for the first like minute, you couldn't really focus on me. You were just focused on the ring. Like you just were like, look at this thing. Oh my gosh. You know, just like you had it on your finger. You put it on. You're like, oh, look at this. Look it at is this. beautiful. So then the photographer like kind of recognized what was happening. And thankfully she just snapped a whole bunch of photos. Another photographer, like the one next to us, saw what was happening and came over and was like, oh, here's how you pose, you know, now that you, like, congratulations. Yeah. And then like posed us for a couple of other shots. Yeah. And then there were these girls that started singing, uh, celebrate good times, come on. And they were like Just dancing these, like, and random shouting. girls on the side. Yeah, and people so were fun. like, some people cheered and stuff like yeah. that. Cause it was like hooting and hollering. Cause there's like literally thousands of people like right there, this yeah. big crowd. Now they're not all focused on us. There's like a bunch of different photographers, but it was like quite a crowd watching us, you yeah. know, that was right there. It so. was fun. It yeah. was very fun. So after I proposed, we then went over and I think it was your idea to right next to the castle. There's like the Snow White's wishing yeah. well. And uh, there's people over there that will like take your photo for you. So uh, we hand, you know, our camera to this guy and he like takes a video of us just announcing the engagement to all our family and friends. So we're just at Disneyland and 
Mike just proposed. So Mumpkins are getting married. <laughs> Thanks to all of you who supported us in our relationship, and we'll see you at the wedding. Yes, it's going to be a great party. You're going to want to come and see this beautiful bling. <laughs> so we got engaged, and what next best thing to do than go on Space Mountain? Yeah. So with said ring now on yeah. finger, we just flew around Space Mountain. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, you wanted to buy a celebratory Minnie Mouse sweater. I did. And on the way home, we just prayed and worshipped. I remember mm. we put some worship music on and we're just like giving God glory. Because um, we're just so aware that, that he is the one that brought us together. And we're just, we're so thankful. So thankful to the Lord for you know for bringing both of us onto christian mingle where we met and just leading and guiding our steps from there to engagement to marriage until now mm -hmm. so that was how our engagement went at disneyland the happiest place on earth yes making me the happiest man on earth happiest and woman for sure yeah <laughs> no. definitely a special moment and uh one that we'll never never forget yeah stay tuned for part three where we talk about immigration and our wedding thanks for watching if you enjoyed this video um, we'd love it if you would like and subscribe and leave us a comment maybe you have a fun engagement story too yeah we'd love to hear it <laughs> bye bye <laughs> <laughs>